Okay, so on to the next part of the um, process of modeling this building. So what we're going to do now is use our reference image um, here to create the walls as our starting point. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and I'm going to go to my top view and that's in wireframe so I'm going to change that to default shading um, and what I'm also going to do um, is turn on the edged faces. I'm also going to push G to hide that grid. Um, so almost sort of a mistake I suppose. I'm going to unfreeze these uh, uh, reference planes and I'm going to just turn those segments down to one so that I don't have those lines there kind of getting in the way. There we go. And then I can just refreeze them. Great. So in my top view, let's make that larger. I'm going to go to the top left hand corner and I'm going to get a plane. And I'm just going to draw a small square in the corner there. All right. And it's very important at this stage that these segments are at one. If they're any higher like that, it, things are going to go wrong. So it must be one. Uh, so it is just oops, a, uh, a square. Um, now, sometimes at this point, because uh, if I zoom in on here, these are on the same surface, as you can see from that kind of glitching out there. Sometimes things can go wrong in this view. It hasn't for me, but it might for you. So if that happens, just in the Z axis, um, just move it like 0 0.1 or something very much higher, just so that it takes it away so they're not on exactly the same surface. And let's come back to our top view. I'm going to convert this to an editable poly. Go to edge mode. And now is the process of creating these walls or tracing, if you like. So what we do is we get the edge, we hold the shift key and drag along. Okay, and then let go of both. When you meet a point on the reference image, you know, on the plans, uh, that is of sig significance, I guess, where we're going to need some extra geometry. Um, so if I keep going, hold shift again, drag out, let go of both. Hold shift again, drag out, let go of both. Um, got some double doors here, hold shift, drag along. Okay, we're gonna do this the whole way around. There's another little window. Um, you also want to do it when you come to inner walls um, because, well, you'll see in a minute. <laughs> Hold shift, drag out, let go of both. Hold shift, drag out, let go of both. And let's go to the end there. So we've done that whole wall there. Now, the reason why we go to each of these points, obviously when we um, extrude this up, we're going to need uh, geometry here for the window, geometry there for the door, there's a window there. We need that information. For these walls, uh, as you can see here, I'm going to need to hold shift and I need to go down. Okay, so that's why I needed those extra edges in there. Same here, the window there, window there, window, oh, the wall there, sorry. Okay. I'm going to go around this whole thing. I'm just going to show you the information you're going to need to do it. What you'll also find is you'll come to a point like this where you're now going sideways again, but you need to kind of link up, um, you know, multiple walls here. So if we go down to there and show you across to here. It's like a sliding door here. There you go. So then I come to here, and obviously this is the problem here. Let's just go to the end. There we go. Yeah, so now this is kind of detached, if you like. What you don't want to do is just move this and kind of overlay it there. Because when you extrude up, this isn't one thing anymore. It's 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 just still just two things overlapping and you're gonna get um, problems. So what we want to do is, um, well, what we can actually do, we can do it this way. We can just delete that polygon altogether and get these two edges, that one and that one. We're going to push push this bridge button 
and it will create, I guess, a bridge between those two edges, uh, creating that polygon. Um, last thing that we'll need doing though is that unless you are absolutely dead on perfect with your um, freehand tracing, uh, that line won't be, um, you know, it's straight down. You can see it's a slight angle, yours may be more. So to fix that, we just go to um, one of the vertices. You can see the, the axis is moving in is the x axis. So I get the x axis of the one that I want um, and copy it from there. Come down to here and paste it and push enter. So for that one. Okay, so now I know that that line is dead straight down. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to do the same for the other side. That's the one that's in the right place. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it, push enter on these two guys so that that stays straight. Okay, so yeah, nothing else you're going to need to know for doing the whole thing. Um, use that technique to trace the whole um, plans. And what I would suggest doing also um, is bringing in the reference image for the, the first floor and doing the tracing for that as well. So they are both ready to go before we move on to the next bit.